And hello, welcome back. I'm gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip the recap so that we can uh, actually do what we need to do. So, okay. So, yeah. Previously, we already finished the bottom patch. All right. So now, um, let's make the other one. New face set number two. And I'm gonna just copy and paste. Cause you know it's convenient. Okay. Copy and paste this too. That's the, the best part of coding is that you get to copy and paste. Ha ha ha. Alright, so um yeah, let's make the top patch this time. Oops. Alright. Then we'll do a uh, top patch. Alright, so we want to make, we're going to save this by pressing colon W. Now we're going to use the same cylinder to start off with. Alright, and then we want to take out the top patch negative. So this is the one. So let's do top patch negative at the bottom. Alright. Top patch negative and quit. So let's do topo set and see what happens. So you can see, uh, top patch is finished. Then we get the top patch negative as well. Uh, so that has uh, made us uh, the top patch and the bottom patch. Now this is finished. Now what we want is the other one called the wall patch. All right. So remember, so now we have made the bottom patch and now we have made the top patch as well. So now we need to make this patch. This is the last step. The last step so again we select a whole cylinder and then we subtract the bottom patch and the top patch and then we get the curvy part so we'll just call this a uh, new face set number three and then we'll paste something similar all right okay so We'll call this face set the curved uh, wall. Let me just call it wall. Very simply called the wall. So it starts with a cylinder. And then we'll just uh, do a deletion here. So which uh, set is it? So we have bottom patch to start. Right. So we have bottom patch. So we subtract off the bottom patch and then we subtract off the top patch. All right, so this this one's called wall. Maybe we take the capital W away. All right. And then uh, we delete the top patch. Top patch. So Sam save and quit, and then we'll do the topo set again. So he's done the bottom and top patch, you see? Bottom and top patch, all right? And then now it's making the face set wall and then it's taking the uh, bottom patch out and it's taking the top patch out. Hopefully, you know, uh, the, the sets are correct. All right, so this is pretty much it for the topo set dictionary part. We have made all the face sets that we want. We want the face set, which is the wall, which is center here. And then we have the, uh, we have the bottom patch. All right, bottom patch, which is this much. All right, and the bottom patch, and then we have the top patch as well. All right, which is these two. So we can uh, vi the run file, and then uh, we can do a topo set. And then we'll do a topo set lock here just to save the steps that we take. So we can do an all, I don't want to do an all clean. Uh, yeah. 
But uh, the run the run steps are like that. We do a block mesh, we do a snappy X mesh, and then we do a topo set. So uh, we have this, so we can do a git uh, add. Oopsie. So git status. All right. So git add. Git status. And the same thing. Um, next thing we want is to do a git commit. Topo set version one complete so you might want to have some adjustments depending on where we you know have our sets okay no depending on whether we select the correct set so let's do this first so git push origin master and then i'm going to type in my uh, username and password and that will upload it to github github okay so cd snappy pipe and that should uh, you know give us what we need now uh, we want to check paraview to see whether we are able to visualize all these things so i'm going to delete the old snappy pipe.foam and let's apply the new one So again, uh, well, we have the same cylinder here, but we are still unable to visualize the region, so to speak. We, we, are in, we are unable to visualize the regions because we still need to have, uh, we, we still need to uh, take a look, take a look at the, uh, what do you call that? Okay, I need to. We still need to take a look at the patches. We have not uh, created new patch, all right. So the patch that uh, a Paraview is looking at, all right. So we look at the polymesh. Okay, we have face sets. No, no, no worries. But the boundary is still this cylinder, all right. We need to change this by doing something called create patch. Okay, so what is create patch? Now well, create patch. So create patch. Open for wiki. All right. So open for wiki is a really good thing. So um, create patch basically makes the the patches, which are you no know, blank sets of faces where you can add boundary conditions to. Uh, now it makes patch out of selected boundary faces. So faces come from existing patches or a face set. So the reason to get, uh, make face sets is so that we can make these patches. All right, so uh, yeah, we, we do need to do that. All we need to do, yep, yeah, look at this. This is the create patch dictionary. Okay, this is the, this is the slightly different version of openform which is the openform.org but it uh, makes it makes uh, enough uh, sense uh, I mean it's similar enough to you know you can learn from it as well so uh, you just leave the point sync as false and then we'll have uh, patches you see this thing patches and then what patches do you want to make uh, first first patch is named the jet in this case and it says the name is jet and then the patch info the type is a patch and where do you uh, make this from you have to construct this patch from a set and what set do you construct it from it is called jet patch faces so uh, this is basically all we need four bits of info what name do you want the patch to be what type of uh, what type of a boundary condition uh, do you want the patch to be? We just use a generic patch boundary condition. And then we use the same thing as well here. So it's just basically for us is to make three patches. Okay, so we're going to continue that in the next video where we have uh, create patch and then we want to make patches from our face sets. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.